And a number of new laws are now in effect as of today, arguably the most controversial one centers around changes to Florida's death penalty. Child rapists can now face execution for their crimes. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding explains why the law is still likely to face challenges in court. The law specifically pertains to child victims under the age of 12. Higher courts have already said imposing death sentences in these types of cases is a violation of the Eighth Amendment. While some say the law is still a measure of protecting children, others say different. Florida courts now have a green light to sentence child rapists to death row. It was a measure that received bipartisan support as it rose through Tallahassee. Upon signing it into law, Governor Ron DeSantis said, these are really the worst of the worst. The perpetrators of these crimes are often serial offenders. Maria Deliberato is the executive director of Floridians for alternatives to the death penalty. She does not disagree. Of course, child sexual battery is one of the most horrific crimes that one can think of. You know, certainly not saying that. Deliberato, um, an attorney herself, explains even though the law is now technically in effect in Florida, the Supreme Court would first have to reverse its initial ruling for it to apply to a particular case. And the, I mean, the legislature, to their credit, acknowledged that when they passed it, right? They said, we know this isn't the law. We just hope the law will get changed. She also says me, the trauma does not end there for the victim. Um, but you're also dealing Dealing with a living victim who would have to be a part of the inevitable decades long death penalty process. Um, a death penalty case is not quick. It doesn't go away quickly. It languishes for years and years and years. Deliberato also points to alarming statistics. According to the Child Welfare Information Gateway, about 90% of child sex abuse victims know their abuser, and about 30% of children are abused by family members. And so now you've got this whole dynamic where a child is going to bear the weight of a possible death sentence to a neighbor, an uncle, grandfather, something that someone that they know that everybody in their family is not going to feel the exact same way about. It's also important to note this new law would still require an eight to four jury recommendation for a death sentence. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.